Hello, I'm a vendor neutral CRM consultant here to introduce Pipedrive. Let's dive in. Here's where you can visualize your sales pipeline. You can add new deals, move them through the pipeline, and Pipedrive automatically keeps track of follow-ups and tasks for each deal. You also have access to detailed reporting and analytics to track your team's performance. But a lot of CRMs can make that promise. So let me introduce what I think are the most unique features of Pipedrive. As a CRM consultant who works across different CRMs, there are two main areas that make Pipedrive different. First, Pipedrive is built around activity-based selling. The platform encourages your sales team to track and complete actionable tasks, making it easier to close deals faster and keep deals from falling through the cracks. This is especially important for companies with long, complex sales cycles and deals involving medium to high value. Second is how central the pipeline view is. This pipeline view here, this drag and drop interface, lets you move deals through the pipeline with ease, giving you a clear snapshot of your entire sales funnel, which is present in most other CRMs, but in Pipedrive, it is the central focus. It's a customer relationship or CRM tool designed to help businesses manage their sales processes. My quick opinion is that it is a robust CRM, but only average when it comes to customizability, advanced features, and flexibility. It's not something a large enterprise would use to run sales, but I rank it high when it comes to ease of use. Unlike other CRMs built for large enterprises, Pipedrive focuses on simplifying sales. It allows users to easily track leads, deals, activities, and communications all in one place, which is why for small and medium-sized businesses, it's a well-loved product. It is designed purely as a sales tool and isn't designed to be anything else. Pipedrive's core feature is its visual drag and drop sales pipeline, which helps your reps track the progress of deals through different stages that fit your specific sales process. When your reps open up Pipedrive, this is the first thing they see. It's a beautiful visual sales pipeline showing upcoming activity. It's a way for them to prepare their day, and it is what Pipedrive calls activity-based selling. This is the biggest reason Pipedrive stands out. It's a mindset in sales that the rep's activities or behavior is the most important component to increase sales. Not their goals or their quota, their behavior, their activities that they complete. With this visual pipeline, reps know where they are going because they know exactly what the next action is with each of their opportunities, or in Pipedrive as they're called, deals. This right here is why I'd guess most of Pipedrive's customers have decided to go with this tool out of all the other great options out there. It provides a highly visual sales pipeline where you can track leads, deals, and sales activity in customizable stages. It integrates easily with your existing tools. In the case of Pipedrive, it does that especially well with your email and calendar, and it can automate some routine tasks such as sending follow-up reminders. Looking at Pipedrive big picture, it has two main downsides. First, it is limited when it comes to advanced customization. Pipedrive is often praised for its simplicity, but this comes at the cost of really being able to customize it. Users looking for more tailored solutions may find Pipedrive lacking in flexibility and depth compared to other CRMs like Salesforce or HubSpot. Another limitation is with automations. While Pipedrive does offer automation features and it is always improving, I found what I consider basic functions still missing here. For example, being able to trigger an automation based on when a sales doc or a document is signed. I'll get to more downsides to Pipedrive, but those are the two main that I see as a vendor neutral CRM resource. Pipedrive isn't a silver bullet, but many businesses are looking for something that just works. And that's exactly where Pipedrive shines. It's pretty affordable, customizable, and like I just mentioned, it easily integrates with each of your reps, email and calendar, and it even offers a little bit of marketing automation functionality if you need it. Next up is leads. For leads, Pipedrive includes a leads inbox where users can store and qualify leads before converting them into deals. 
This helps keep the pipeline organized and focused on qualified prospects. This is new within the last few years. Next up is email integration. Users can sync their email accounts with Pipedrive, allowing them to send and receive emails directly within the platform. Email templates and tracking features are also available. This is an area where Pipedrive shines. Its email sync and contact sync and calendar sync are all so easy to use, which is one of the main reasons to choose a CRM if you're a small organization over a spreadsheet is because it can sync automatically with your contacts and your emails. Pipedrive supports workflow automation, but like I mentioned before, I don't consider Pipedrive really strong at this, but it does have more than adequate for most use cases. For most businesses, this will work fine. You can handle repetitive tasks, such as sending follow-up emails, when a deal moves to a new stage, saving time, and ensuring consistency. But like I've said, I've run into use cases with Pipedrive automations that Pipedrive doesn't yet support. So you may find some more advanced situations difficult to solve, but Pipedrive has had automations for many years now and is constantly improving its functionality. Next up is reporting and insights. The platform provides various reports and dashboards here in, in insights to measure performance and track against key metrics. Users can set goals, monitor progress against these targets. Pipedrive's insights tool is pretty good but not great in my opinion. It doesn't offer automated email reports, which is something that I would expect in a tool as mature as Pipedrive. But overall, when it comes to user experience, Pipedrive is excellent. Reps tend to appreciate Pipedrive's user interface and ease of use. And you shouldn't need expensive technical staff to help with setup and configuration. But when it comes to Pipedrive, it really comes down to the visual pipeline and drag and drop functionality that makes it easy to manage deals and track progress. It's so easy for reps to use this, but in Pipedrive, it is central to the way that the whole CRM works. And these activity-based selling nudges that Pipedrive offers are fantastic. If your mindset about sales management and about sales performance is behavior and, and making sure that you have a next step for every deal, Pipedrive makes this really easy to do. Next up, when it comes to integration capabilities, Pipedrive does have a, have a marketplace that has a lot of great third-party apps. Pipedrive's marketplace definitely isn't as robust as Salesforce or, or HubSpot's, but it's really good. If I were to have one knock on Pipedrive here, it would be that some of what you need to go to the marketplace for maybe should be native to Pipedrive. For example, a big newer feature a lot of CRMs are offering are SMS and calling functionality built right into the CRM, but Pipedrive does not offer this fully and you'll have to go to the marketplace and add on this feature through a third party. If you rely really heavily on these communication methods, this can be a limitation to Pipedrive. Pipedrive does offer some limited and basic calling functionality. For example, if you have a phone number, you can call from Pipedrive. You can call using your computer or using your phone. But if you want more advanced calling or text messaging capability, you'll have to go to the marketplace. Third-party plugins like Cloud Talk and Just Call are available, but they come with mixed reviews and of course come with additional cost and complexity. When it comes to pricing, Pipedrive is generally considered to be more affordable than Salesforce or HubSpot, although HubSpot does have a free CRM. You're most likely going to be upgrading and it'll at least be as much as Pipedrive, in my experience. They offer several pricing tiers, starting from the Essentials Plan. Let's here, let's change this to monthly. You can start at $24 a month, but this option right here, I've never had a client choose Essential. Companies I've worked with are choosing advanced or professional most often, and then if they really need it, then they'll move up from there. Each tier adds more features such as full email sync, e-sign documents, advanced security options. As far as some of the features that drive companies to choose the more expensive plans, the first one would be required fields, which for required fields, you need the professional plan. This is helpful when you want to add fields that are required in order to move deals to a certain stage in your pipeline. That one's a big one. Another one is the contacts timeline. 
It's a really excellent feature to help make sure you're staying on top of your important relationships. That one is also a professional plan. There it is, context timeline, a visual rep representation of your activities with context over time. That's a really good feature in Pipedrive and that requires professional uh, multiple dashboards, which is crazy to me that you have to have professional for multiple dashboards. Let's see, where's dashboards? There we go, visual dashboards. You can have one on essential and advanced, but in order to have multiple dashboards, then you need professional or higher. One more important one for professional is custom permissions, which might be important if you're trying to make sure that certain people can see only certain things. Custom visibility groups right here and custom permission sets, that'll also require professional. And just one more feature that's often important to look at is group emailing. When you want to be able to your, have your reps uh, do a little more of a marketing function or just be able to send uh, a, a, the same email to a bunch of people all at the same time, Pipedrive calls that group emailing. Here's group emailing along with email scheduling. Group emailing is available on advanced and higher. So there's a few of the features that you might want to look at as you're choosing what's the best plan for you. And of course, you can always start with a lower plan. And as necessary, go ahead and upgrade to a more expensive plan. Next, let's compare Pipedrive to a few other alternatives for CRM based on my experience. First up is Monday.com. Monday offers pretty solid project management features, but in my experience, it can fall a little short for teams that are focused primarily on sales. And their it's CRM functions can feel a little limited for businesses that need a more robust sales process or some more like CRM focused features and insights and dashboards. So I'd say Pipedrive is still usually the choice over Monday if you're a sales driven team, but I would still consider picking Monday over Pipedrive if you're already invested in Monday as a project management tool. In general, the fewer software tools you have, the better. Next up is HubSpot. HubSpot is hands down stronger at marketing tools, but HubSpot can get a lot more expensive than Pipedrive when you look at HubSpot's more advanced plans. HubSpot offers some powerful marketing tools, but that comes at a higher cost for small teams focused on sales. Pipedrive is laser focused on sales. So it can be a little more budget friendly and a little less complex, though just barely. I consider Pipedrive pretty easy, or I consider HubSpot pretty easy to use as well. But if you're a sales first organization, then that's where HubSpot may not be as obvious of a, of a choice, but both are popular for a reason and both are easy to use. But for a sales focused use case, Pipedrive gets the edge with a slightly more intuitive layout for teams that need a pure CRM. HubSpot does offer a pretty good free CRM, but if you have a sales team, HubSpot is gonna still be more expensive because you're gonna end up upgrading. And HubSpot can easily cost tens of thousands of dollars more per year than Pipedrive. When I first got started with HubSpot nearly a decade ago, the ease of use trade-off meant advanced customization and features were missing with HubSpot. If you're willing to upgrade to HubSpot's enterprise level plans, it's now as powerful as anything else out there, including Salesforce. If you're more demand gen focused or want integrated marketing tools, HubSpot's hard to beat for an all-in-one solution. Next up is Zoho. It's a cost-effective solution with a lot of features, and it includes SMS and calling integrations. It's more feature-rich by far than Pipedrive, but that trade-off comes at the expense of being much more difficult to use, although it's gotten better, but it's definitely more expensive in the sense that setting it up, training, Having reps complain about it being slow and unintuitive, getting adoption will be more of a task than with Pipedrive. Soho has added another version of their CRM called Vision that is super pared down and definitely looks a lot like Pipedrive. And it's to be something to consider, especially if you're already using the rest of the Zoho product suite. Just like other full business software product suites like NetSuite and Odoo, if you're happily using Zoho for bookkeeping, billing, or project management, some of the uh, Zoho's other product suite already, then I would take a strong look at using them also for CRM. Otherwise, Pipedrive's probably gonna win. 
Zoho's wide array of features can be overkill if you're a small team or maybe medium sized team. And Pipedrive tends to strike more of a balance with just the right amount of power mixed with simplicity. But one example of something that is built into Zoho, but is not built into Pipedrive would be this SMS tool where you're able to build out and send text messages through Zoho. And speaking of tools that have full featured built-in SMS and calling functionality, Fresh Sales by Freshwork is another one to look at, which is also a more sales focused CRM, similar to Pipedrive. It does offer a few of the features that are integrations for Pipedrive, but instead they're built in like recording calls, call routing, and SMS integration. Another tool similar to HubSpot in that it started as a marketing automation platform and it's moved into a more full featured CRM is Active Campaign. Active Campaign is definitely still going to be a marketing focused tool, but offers an adequate CRM for most use cases as well. One I've heard come up on occasion as well as Zendesk and Zendesk is widely used for customer support. So it isn't as strong when it comes to managing a comprehensive sales pipeline. If you're focused on driving new business, Zendesk may feel a little limiting for sales specific needs. And this is an area where Pipedrive shines by putting sales front and center. But if you're already bought in to Zendesk customer support tools, then adding on the CRM might be something worth considering. Lastly, I'll touch on Pipedrive versus Salesforce. I don't think many companies seriously considering Pipedrive would also be seriously considering Salesforce. But in case that's you, I've seen many more companies unhappy with the high cost and complexity of Salesforce than not. But I've tended to work with smaller and more medium-sized companies. Salesforce is the top contender for large organizations and will continue to be so because it can be tailored to fit even the most complex businesses. Not to mention an amazing ecosystem of third parties providing anything you could ever want. The user licenses themselves may not look like that much more of an investment. The time and effort it takes to get going, integrate with other systems, and continuously make changes that all CRMs require to continue to be relevant. That is when it becomes a very significant investment of full-time admins and teams of consultants. So if you're the type of company that would be considering Pipedrive, let me be the warning voice that Salesforce most likely won't be the best option for you. But taking a step back, each CRM has its strengths and weaknesses, and the best choice depends upon your specific business needs and the resources you have available. Many businesses start out a CRM initiative with high hopes, but without a CRM that their team actually uses, they quickly lose momentum and don't end up seeing ROI. If you're under 500 or 1,000 employees, and if you're planning on doing any demand generation to complement your sales efforts, you should really look at HubSpot. But if all you care about is a good sales CRM, then that's Pipedrive. The dream with Pipedrive is imagine logging into a CRM that feels straightforward with every stage of your sales process laid out in one simple view. You're not juggling tabs or endlessly clicking through options. You're tracking, following up, and closing deals. Focused on what matters most, selling. So here's a recap on why a team might choose Pipedrive. It's a sales focused CRM that puts your pipeline front and center. It is one of the easiest CRMs to set up and use. And while not enterprise grade, it has more than adequate level of customizability to tailor your pipelines, email sync, automated workflows to your team's specific needs. And unlike many CRMs, Pipedrive scales pretty affordably with business growth. Too many software platforms quickly become admin heavy, making it hard to get the sales insights you need to drive growth. And that's where Pipedrive steps in. It's designed to be user-friendly and focus solely on sales without the unnecessary clutter. While Pipedrive offers a straightforward and user-friendly CRM experience, its shortcomings in marketing and demand gen and missing native features like calling and SMS may outweigh its benefits for you. And you may want to look at the alternatives. But if you're ready to try out Pipedrive, check out the link in the description and start your free trial. For more sales and CRM tips, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.